I have this deep, deep limiting belief. Um, and it's prop. <laughs> Actually, I don't want to say it's the only one I have left. That's <laughs> watch the universe just punch me in the face, dude. It's one of a few that I'm uh, that I'm aware of that it, that is still kind of there. I can feel like little shards of it that haven't completely been purged out yet. Yeah, and it's the belief of the the more you do, the more you're worth, right? And that's a dangerous belief to have. And it's kind of just uh, from things in childhood of how I was raised, but like believing that my self worth is based off of how much value I give to the world, right? And you you might think, like, when you hear that, you're like, oh, that's what's wrong with that? Like, that makes sense. The more value you give, the more you're worth. Mm -hmm. Well, yes, in, like, in 3D terms, that's correct. In business, the more value you give, the more than the company is going to be worth. But in spiritual terms, that's very flawed. It's very flawed because as spiritual beings – there, there's nothing that we can do that can add to or take away from our value as consciousness. It's not possible. That's why this whole rat race is becoming more and more comical to me because <laughs> I'm like, we're doing all these things to add more onto us to seem like we're worth more. The car, the money, the spouse, the trophy wife, whatever it is, like all of this is to add more on to make us more valuable, Yeah, which is Impo it's actually ludicrous the more you think about it. It's not possible. And so we get stuck in this trap, and that's what we call the matrix. That's why it's so strong. And so this is, like, deep within me. So the past five days, I've done nothing. And I can't remember the last time that's happened. When I say nothing, I mean, like, literally just sat there. And I tried to do, like, my Gene Keys course. I tried to read books. I tried to, like, but just nothing. So then autom automatically I would default to like, okay, well, let's, let's build something. Let's mm. create something. Let's, uh, let's think about money. How can I bring in more money? Like <laughs> my mind goes blank. I'm like literally blank as if like I had amnesia. I'm like, okay, hey, that's weird. I went like on a walk, came back, go to think about it again, blank. Like I, I literally can't think. And I'm like, what the hell is wrong with me, dude? This continues for almost five days. And I'm at the point of where I'm about to lose it because in this time of like me not doing anything in my mind, guess what's happening? My self-worth's going down. <laughs> it's like I'm playing this game and I can see this meter of health, <laughs> but it's a meter of self-worth, dude. And it's going down each day and I'm just watching it, dude. And the more I watch it go down, the more I'm starting to like on the outside, I'm, I'm like calm, I'm collective, <laughs> bro. But on the inside, I'm like, oh. And I'm losing it. I thought I knew how to control my emotions. Like I'm, and I can like feel it coming up and I'm like, like literally what is going on? I'm like about to lose it. And then like the fourth day in, it finally just kind of like not a full on click, but a little mini like click of like, mm -hmm. maybe there's something for you to learn here. <gasps> Imagine that. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm like, okay. What? So that required me to like step out of the situation, right? Yeah. Like de-identify with it, detach, which is really healthy. It's funny. That was our last episode. So mm -hmm. it shows you how human we are, but like to detach from it and look at it from an outside perspective and be like, Hey, if, if there is a lesson to learn here, what, what could it possibly be? And that's when these things started to come up and I realized, wow, like, you know, the only way you can actually heal from wounds is by facing them. Mm-hmm. Right? Like if you struggle with, let's say, money wounds, which a lot of people do, the only way you can heal those is by actually facing the money wounds, which is probably going to mean you're going to lose money because that's how the wound gets triggered. Yep. So in this situation, the way that I was going to face my limiting belief of the more I do, the more I'm worth is by not doing anything. And that was triggering the wound. And here am I thinking, how do I got to do more? I got to do more. I got to advert this. I got to reprogram. I got to do something. It was like, no sit and recognize that the only way you can heal your wounds is by bringing them back up. It, it's the darkness coming back up. So I sat with, and, and, I, and just being aware of that released like some of the charge. And that's when I just synchronistically got led to this, this breath work, which I did this morning. It was dude, so powerful, so powerful. And what's so crazy is that like, it's not like it cast out these beliefs. It's not like it instantaneously healed it. It's the, in the breath work, I got to a place of such calmness and centeredness mm -hmm. that nothing else could exist. Nothing, no fear, no worries, no anxiety. And that's when I was like, wow, that's, that's all it is. It's the mind. 
It's, it's the mind that's just running this program. And when you get so deep to a place where the mind doesn't exist, it disappears. Mm. 